Imagine an object in your home whispering your darkest fears every time the clock strikes midnight. From the shadows of the unknown, tales of cursed objects have trickled down through generations. These are not mere items, they are vessels harboring spirits and misfortune, weaving stories of dread and despair. Whether it's a mirror reflecting unseen horrors or a doll whose eyes seem to follow you, these artifacts carry a history soaked in mystery and malice. Let's cautiously unveil the mysteries of these 10 cursed objects that you would never want lurking in your home. At number 10, a seemingly innocent painting that holds the despair of its creator. Imagine an artwork so imbued with emotion that its melancholy seeps into the room. This is the tale of the anguished painter's canvas, a masterpiece wrought from the depths of despair and turmoil. Crafted in the late 19th century by an artist whose name has been lost to time, the painting is rumored to be an emotional outpouring of his darkest moments. The artist, plagued by personal tragedies and unrequited love, poured his soul into his work, leaving behind a canvas charged with raw, unfiltered sorrow. Owners of the painting have reported an air of gloom that accompanies the artwork, with some even experiencing a string of bad luck and overwhelming feelings of sadness. Stories abound of the painting's eerie influence, from chilling whispers in the dead of night to inexplicable shadows flitting across rooms. Would you hang such a canvas of sorrow on your walls? Next, imagine a print that witnesses fire but never burns. In the mid-20th century, a mysterious series of prints known as The Crying Boy began to circulate. These artworks depicted tearful children, and while their melancholic expressions tugged at the heartstrings, something more sinister seemed to lurk beneath the surface. Legend has it that homes displaying these prints would often suffer catastrophic fires. Yet, amidst the charred ruins, the prints would emerge eerily unscathed. The origin of these prints traces back to a Spanish painter who, it is said, captured the sorrow of orphan children. However, the curse rumored to accompany these prints has a more chilling note Firefighters reportedly became so wary of the prints that they eventually refused to allow them into their own homes, fearing the legend might engulf their lives in flames as well. An artwork immune to flames, but perhaps a harbinger of them. Would you dare sit in a chair that could be your last seat ever? Welcome to the chilling tale of the chair of death. This seemingly innocuous piece of furniture is steeped in a dark history, shadowed by the grim fate of those who dared to rest upon it. Nestled in the quiet corner of a quaint English pub, this chair was once the favored seat of a notorious criminal, who, legend has it, cursed the chair with his final breath. He proclaimed that death would come swiftly to anyone who dared sit in his chair. Since then, the chair has held a macabre record, over the years, numerous patrons, either skeptical or unknowingly, have seated themselves in this cursed chair. Tragically, each became a victim to bizarre and fatal accidents shortly thereafter. From sudden illnesses to inexplicable accidents, the chair seemed to fulfill its grim promise with ruthless efficiency. Today, this ominous artifact is carefully hung on a wall far out of reach. Best left standing alone, this chair's deadly curse is one to avoid. Contained spirits and unleashed terror. The debook box is not just any antique. This seemingly ordinary wine cabinet carries a tale that chills even the most skeptical of hearts. Originally purchased at an estate sale, the box is said to be possessed by a debook, a restless spirit from Jewish folklore known to cling to and haunt the living. The story begins with an unsuspecting antique buyer who soon after acquiring the box experienced a series of horrifying nightmares, each featuring an eerie old woman. It wasn't long before anyone who came into contact with the box reported similar disturbing dreams. Physical ailments too seemed to follow the box's presence. Owners reported everything from hives and coughing fits to severe hair loss. Moreover, some claimed the box would spontaneously open, unleashing wafts of a strange jasmine-like scent mixed with the stench of cat urine. 
Despite attempts to seal or hide the box, the paranormal activities persisted. It seems the D-Book box refuses to be forgotten, a box that might hold more than just old memories. Mirrors reflect more than just our outer appearances. Sometimes they capture souls. Nestled in the haunting charm of Louisiana, the Myrtles Plantation is home to one of the most chilling objects, a mirror that is said to hold the spirits of a family tragically lost long ago. According to local law, this antique mirror contains the souls of Sarah Woodruff and her children, who are believed to have been poisoned in the early 19th century. Visitors report seeing shadowy figures and child-sized handprints appear on the glass, marks that no amount of cleaning can erase. The mirror, framed in ornate gold, hangs as a silent testament to its eerie legacy, reflecting not just the room it resides in, but also the somber history of the plantation. The phenomenon has baffled both paranormal experts and skeptics alike, making the Myrtles Plantation a must-visit for those intrigued by the supernatural. Yet despite its allure, the mirror's presence is a constant reminder of the family's unresolved spirits, forever looking out from their glassy prison. A reflection you might not want to gaze into, a statue so lethal, it's blamed for the demise of an entire family lineage. Meet the woman from Lem, an innocuous-looking limestone figure, but with a history dark enough to chill the bones of the bravest souls. Unearthed in Lem, Cyprus in 1878, this artifact dates back to 3500 BC, a relic of the Chalcolithic period. The statue, often called the Goddess of Death, is linked to a series of mysterious fatalities. Legend has it that within six years of its discovery, all members of the Lord Elfont family, who owned the statue, had met untimely deaths. Subsequently, every family that came into possession of the statue suffered similar fates, with lives snuffed out as if by a malevolent force. Passed through the hands of several private collectors, each owner has been shadowed by tragedy, from sudden illnesses to inexplicable accidents. Today, the woman from Lem resides safely behind glass in a museum, hopefully containing its cursed influence. A sculptured curse fatal to those who possess it. Not all dolls are playthings. Some play with reality. In the realm of cursed objects, few are as unsettling as Annabelle the doll. This seemingly innocent Raggedy Ann doll harbors a dark presence, intertwined with tales of terror and misfortune. Legend has it that Annabelle was first given to a nursing student in the late 1960s. The tranquility of her new home was short-lived as strange occurrences began to unfold. The doll reportedly moved on its own, scribbled messages on parchment, and even attacked visitors. Seeking help, the student consulted paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. They concluded that the doll was manipulated by an inhuman spirit, a malevolent entity masquerading as the spirit of a young girl named Annabelle. The Warrens took the doll, placing it behind sacred glass in their occult museum to prevent further harm. Despite being contained, Annabelle's notoriety continues to grow. A doll that watches, waits, and terrifies. A painting that paints a thousand words of horror. This is the tale of The Hands Resist Him, often whispered about in hushed tones as the eBay haunted painting. Originating from the brush of artist Bill Stoneham in 1972, this painting is a gateway to the uncanny, featuring a young boy and a female doll standing in front of a glass panel door with hands pressing against the glass from the other side. The story took a turn towards the eerie when it was put up for auction on eBay in the year 2000. The seller included a harrowing description of the painting's supposed supernatural abilities causing sickness, inducing gripping nightmares, and even making the figures in the painting move during the night. Numerous owners and viewers have reported a range of disturbing experiences, from feeling intense dread and being gripped by inexplicable fear, to hearing voices and seeing the hauntingly lifelike figures whisper secrets in the dead of night. Are you brave enough to view it? A gemstone so exquisite, yet so cursed, it brings despair to its holders. 
The Hope Diamond, a breathtaking blue gem weighing 45 and a half carats, has captivated and cursed its admirers throughout history. Originally mined in India, this infamous diamond's journey is steeped in tales of misfortune and misery. Legend has it that it was plucked from an idol, incurring a curse of great sorrow and misfortune upon those who dare possess it. Passed through the hands of kings and aristocrats, each owner of the Hope Diamond has faced tragic fates. King Louis XIV, who once shone brightly with the gem, succumbed to gangrene. His successor, Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette, who also reveled in its glory, were both executed during the French Revolution. Even when it reached the shores of America, embraced by the wealthy and the elite, the curse did not relent. Postmaster General James Todd, who delivered the gem to its last private owner, suffered a crushed leg and later, a fatal car crash. A jewel that dazzles the eyes but darkens the soul. These objects whisper a cautionary tale to the curious and the brave. As we've journeyed through the chilling stories of ten cursed objects, from the eerie whispers of Annabelle the doll to the tragic allure of the Hope Diamond, it's clear that our fascination with the cursed is as deep as it is dark. Why do these objects captivate us so? Perhaps it's the thrill of the unknown or maybe a profound reminder of the boundaries that should not be crossed. These tales are not just spine-tingling anecdotes. They serve as stark lessons about the limits of human curiosity and the need for respect towards the unseen forces of our history. Each item, imbued with its own somber story, warns us of the consequences when the past is disturbed without reverence. The power of belief shapes our interactions with these objects, influencing not just their law, but also their impact. As we explore these mysteries, let's tread lightly, respecting the unknown with a cautious heart. Remember, some mysteries are best left unsolved. Good night, stay safe, and keep away from the cursed.